Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your guy, Anthony Dennis. I appreciate you guys swinging by to yet another video. Hey, today, uh, I just want to go ahead and appreciate you guys for, you know, uh, checking out my videos. I'm dropping videos all the time. You know what I'm saying? Giving you guys a foundation. You can go, go ahead and build off of that, okay guys? So, uh, today's topic, I want to go ahead and hop right on into it, is uh, your power team member, real estate agent, okay? Now, today, guys, I want to go ahead and talk about a, a, a very strong power team member that you need to incorporate in your business. Uh, ASAP okay guys and that person is your real estate agent okay this is going to be an invaluable uh, member of your team and you'll be able to uh, do things uh, at, at, at very uh, high volume high levels you know in, in, as far as putting in offers and and uh, just scaling up your business and taking it to another level okay guys so you know, let's go ahead and get right on into it so with the real estate agent you want to get a, in an investor friendly agent okay guys it's very key that you get an investor friendly agent because you know um, whenever they pass their real estate agent test you know um, a lot of misconception is that you know they understand the investing side and you know they, they understand the, the retail side and not the investing side so you want to make sure that you find a real estate agent that is investor friendly and understands the real estate investing game okay guys that's very key so you guys got to be on the same page in order to make these moves I'm sure you want your agent to be able to help you learn the market okay guys whatever market you're in you know uh, you're not an expert in it obviously starting out you know, the more experience you get, the more you'll be able to understand certain areas, certain subdivisions, you know, certain parts of town of the city, north, south, east, west, what's going on in certain in certain markets, what area is more of a cash buyer, what's more of a, you know, landlord you know, in certain pockets and everything. So until you can kind of get that all down, you want to go ahead and, and you want a real estate, an investor friendly real estate agent that's going to go ahead and help you learn the uh, market, okay, guys? That's very key, okay? You got to be on the same page and, and, and they, they, you can help them, educate them on the real estate investor side, in turn, help you with the retail side and what's happening in the MLS and, and the uh, investing areas, okay guys? So, also, the next step, you want them to go ahead and you want them to be able to comp properties for you, okay? It's very key, because if you don't have, if you're not a real estate agent yourself that's getting into wholesaling, and you don't have a real estate uh, agent license, you wanna make sure you uh, communicate with them that you're gonna need, uh, you know, the comps. Uh, you know, to be able to, to comp properties for you when you bring them leads, okay, guys? So that's very key. You gotta know what the market value, the MLS is the most accurate. There's three ways that you can definitely, you know, get a good, uh, close number uh, by using free sites that I've mentioned in past videos. But if you wanna go ahead and get very accurate uh, comps, you definitely wanna go ahead and you want to go ahead and, and, and have your real estate agent go ahead and get those comps for you guys, okay? So, you know, they'll go ahead, you send them a, you send them a lead, on the property, they go ahead and they'll research it and have them send you back a uh, market analysis of the, of the area, the property, and everything like that. A full breakdown of properties, other properties in that area, and you can get a, a detailed uh, outlook on the on the comps of that area based off of what the uh, real estate agent sends you, okay guys? So, and so the next step, what you want to do is um, to do the market research for you, okay? Like I was just saying just now, uh, you know, you want to have them send you an email with that market research of that of those leads or whatever area and go ahead and get back to you with the report and let you know you know what's going on and everything so you can kind of go ahead and get that education on that on that area also find deals you want you want your real estate agents to find you deals okay guys like there there's a uh, real estate there's wholesale deals on the mls all the time and in one of my previous videos i mentioned about you know the auto prospecting where you can set uh, network with the real estate agent and go ahead and give them the, the free keywords to go ahead and put you on an auto alert. That's one way, okay? You can do an auto alert where whenever any real estate agent in your area will go ahead and, and list a property, those keywords, those keywords for wholesale deals that pop up, it'll it'll um, you'll get an alert automatically sent to your e inbox. And then so what you, and so what you want to do is go ahead and um, that that's one way, the automated way. But if you want your real estate agent to be actively, you know, going out. Uh, script the MLS to go ahead and find these uh, hidden deals for you guys, these gems, and to go ahead and be actively uh, searching, okay? So you want to have the auto prospecting where you automatically get alerted in your inbox and then also have the real estate agent to be uh, working actively for you as well, okay? So let's combine those two, be very powerful, okay guys? So that's another thing. And so the next step 
you want them to sell and buy real estate deals found on the MLS, okay? So now what this means is that when you, when you get a deal, you want to go ahead and be able to send it to the real estate agent and let them know, hey, I'd like to go ahead and sell some of my MLS deals on the MLS to get maximum exposure. And then so with that way, you know, you can go ahead and uh, you can sell it quicker. You can find more cash. That's another way to get, get you know, uh, generate a lot of interest in your properties and your deals and to move them a lot faster because you have a lot more people that, that you know, cash buyers, everyone is on the MLS you know, looking for deals all the time like you are. So, you know, um, you want to be able to find your deals, you know, you want to uh, sell your deals. And also if you find a deal that's a good price and then you have the, the finance or funding, you know, even a credit to be able to go ahead and get that deal and you can do a double closing. And then, you know, I've, I've talked about the double closing in the previous video as well. You can go ahead and check that out. And so, you know, you can go ahead and get, a, a, you can double close on it. And then you know you can close on it with if you if you can find you know your own financing if it's a really good deal cheap and you can up market a little bit and then resell it to a cash buyer so you know be able to sell your deals and then buy you and then you be able to find your deals to buy you know off the MLS as well to fit your criteria okay guys so next up you know the real estate agent they must be willing to list properties at a discount for your wholesale deals okay. Uh, it goes hand in hand with the uh, selling your property, selling your wholesale deals, okay? Now, with that, you want to be able to, uh, your properties, when you get them, you want to go ahead, if you don't, if you want to get maximum exposure and go ahead and quickly sell your property and get a lot of uh, exposure, then go ahead and make sure that you're on the same page with your real estate agent that and that they're okay with listing uh, discounted properties, you know, wholesale deals on the MLS for you because they're all out there. So obviously there's, you know, if investor friendly agents that's doing that all over. So, you know, you'll definitely find an agent that'll, that'll, that will do that for you. Okay, guys. Yeah. So, and so the next step is, you know, willing to submit creative, low ball and high volume offers. Okay, guys. So, you know, with creative, uh, with creative offers is going to be like, you know, terms, like if you want to take over the property on terms, like as far as financing, owner financing, lease options, I did a video on lease options. You guys can go ahead and check that out as well. Go ahead and check it out and get a more of an understanding and breakdown of uh, how, you know, lease options work, okay? So be willing to, to submit creative offers for you. Low ball offers, you know, of course, you're gonna be needing to buy these deals, you know, at a deep discount. So they have to be okay with, uh, you know, placing offers for you uh, at a low price, okay? So make sure that you get on the same page with your real estate agent that you're interviewing for that, okay? And then also high volume offers. You know, it's all a numbers game, all right? Because most of the majority of deals don't get accepted, at, you know, at those low ball offers and everything, and even terms. So what you want to do is that you the, the volume is all a numbers game. So you're doing big numbers, maybe you're making a ton of offers, okay? Because these deals, that's how you get your, you know, your, your few deals a month by by high volume, high offer, high volume of offers, okay, guys? So make sure that you're doing that, okay? And make sure that your real estate agent is okay with, you know, doing those uh, high volume offers and that they won't be, you know, uh, weary of doing that. If not, you know, on to the next, obviously. So uh, anyway, so, and also they must have access to their NAID number. Now what this is, this is uh, the, this, this is for the HUD. And uh, if you've ever been on the website, uh, hoodhomestore.com, that's where you go ahead and find the uh, foreclosed properties uh, HUD properties are government foreclosed properties, okay guys, and the government is selling those properties at a discount. So you want to hit that website and uh, the only way that you can uh, place a uh, offer on that property is through a real estate agent. And the real estate agent, they have to uh, have, they have, make sure your real estate agent knows, that, knows what their NAID number is or make sure that they can get access to it, okay? And that's the only way that, that the real estate agent can place a bid for you on a, on a foreclosed property on the hood if they go ahead and, and, and have that number and then submit that offer for you. We can't, as an investor, we can't submit offers on the hood. Uh, you need a real estate agent that'll go ahead and submit them numbers for you, okay, guys? Submit those bids for you. And then also, it's going to be high volumes because with the hood, it's going to be counters. So you got to counter the counters, okay? And so they have to be okay with that and understand that game. And if they're not, you know, then, you know, obviously it's going to the next. So, you know, the, you want your real estate agent to be doing all of these things right here. 
And then like, in, if, if, if they're, you know, if they don't meet your criteria, it is okay, right? Just go ahead. There's tons of, oh, there's tons of uh, real estate agents out here that'll be able to work with you and want to work with you, okay? So make sure, you know, if they don't meet your criteria, it's okay. You know, you just go ahead and move on to the next one and you will find that real estate agent that you guys can build on and, 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 and build on foundation and work together, okay? And then the last tip too. Now, as you're a wholesaler, right? You're going to be doing a lot of direct mailing, you know, sending out, uh, you know, sending out letters or postcards, however you want to do it. So there's going to be a lot of deals that you can't, that, that the homeowners will not accept your cash deal, you know, your, your, uh, your, your discounted offer. They're not going to accept that or they're not going to accept your terms deals, right? So you go ahead, you have extra leads that should sit in there. So what you do is go ahead and let the real estate agent know, hey, look, I, I have a lot of deals. I have a lot of leads um, that... I couldn't, I couldn't turn into a deal, and then I'm gonna pass those off to you as well. And so that's great for them because more, more, uh, they'll get those leads, reach out to the homeowner, and then those are listings for, those are retail listings for the real estate agent, and they'll get commissions that way. That way is the, the make that way the relationship is mutually beneficial for both of you guys. Okay, they're bringing you value, and you looking out for them, giving them your leads that you couldn't do nothing with, and then they'll get retail commissions when they sell it on the MLS. Okay, guys, so. So that's my tip for the day, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know you can get all these videos I'm dropping. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good one.